y'all my name is Nikisha Wise and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel okay all right so today y'all I want to tell y'all how um witchcraft voodoo whatever you want to call it affects your dating life and relationship life okay and for starters I want to say that if you have this energy on you your relationship and dating life is going to absolutely suck okay it's going to be horrible for you um especially if you're not used to getting treated the way that you're getting treated or talked to the way that you're being talked to or or just attracting the kind of people that you're attracting because that's exactly what it does it alters everything um about you and your energy so okay you know um, it affects the partner as well, especially if they're not saved, if they, if they are not, um, under the covering of God, under Jesus Christ, um, it affects their energy because they have door, doors that are open. So if you come around them and your energy is all messed up, or if, if you, if they come around, you know, anybody else as well, or if you come around them and their energy messed up, it's just a mess. So, Okay. Like, if you're in a relationship, um, your partner is going to be real cold towards you. Like, real, it's like they be all right one minute, and then the next minute they may, like, start an argument out of nothing, you know? And they don't necessarily have to be cheating on you. It's just that energy is getting them to do that. And a lot of times, they won't even remember saying some of the stuff they say to you. And they won't remember doing some of the things that they that they do. Um, your partner can, or can become your partner can become physically abusive, mentally abusive, um, financial, just all the abuses that you can think of. They can become that. Um, and it's that energy making them behave like that and act like that towards you. Um, and you can and if you're dating somebody, um, you can start having a very unhealthy obsession with them. It's just like. You could have met somebody two days ago and that energy will have them, them on your mind all the time, like banging in your, your head. You just can't stop thinking about them. And it's so weird, okay? Um, you, you'll, that, you'll even, that energy will try to convince you that you love them already and you don't even know this person. It'd be stuff like that. And a lot of times you, will, you can get like um, a lot of rejection from people that you're dating like you experience a lot of rejection a lot of abandonment in a lot of cases and in, in most cases as well you can't even get rid of certain people like you li you literally end up having to put restraining orders on people you end up having to uh call the police on people because they won't leave you alone and um so either way is going to suck you're either going to be they're either going to be real attached to you or they're going to um abandon you and reject you and they will even start to talk down on you as well like this energy does not play this is why i i'm so grateful to still be here y'all because these people could have actually taken my life like when i was when i was dating because that's really not dating the enemy is just sending people to you to destroy you that's really what it is you know but um okay your dating life, like I said, is going to be all over the place. Um, there's really no peace at all if you're going through something like this. And it's like you are attracting like every narcissist known to man and every Jezebel known known to human, known to woman. Like it's, that's what you attract. Um, probably at one point in time, you probably most like most likely before that you was attracting decent people, like decent guys, decent girls. You know, you may have had the pick of the litter, as they may call it, you know. But when somebody does something like this to you, it's like, don't nothing but trash come your way. Like the bottom of the barrel type people. And I hate to say it like that, but it's the truth. You know, they are alcoholics, real bad alcoholics. You know, what I was attracting was people that were on drugs, people that were alcoholics, people that was just so ment mentally tore up and messed up, you know. And it was, it was bad, okay? It was real bad. And you never, um, you never really, you never really get a chance to know them. And they never really get a chance to know you too. 
And that's another thing. It's like y'all to y'all talking, but y'all don't know each other. And it's it, that energy is so it is so weird. Um okay. And matter of fact, you you want to you want to attract people that you are actually attracted to. Um whether it's physically, mentally attracted to them, you really don't attract that anymore. You now you you're attracting everything that you don't want. I'm going to put it like that. Everything that you don't want. And then you can say, well, I'm done dating. I mean, just like I did. I decided, well, I'm done dating. I, I, I'm not right to be dating right now until I remove this energy. But let me tell you what it would do. It would literally send people to your doorstep. Literally. To your doorstep trying to get you to come out the house. Trying to get you to date them. Trying, I mean, that energy will sit up and mess with you and torture you until it gets you to self-destruct and tear and and to uh destroy yourself or to run and to run you crazy and make you lose your mind that's what it's meant for you know that's basically what it's all meant for to kill still and destroy you okay so yeah all right i said that um okay um everything that they everything that this energy is meant to do is meant to um keep you in in chaos and in confusion and i think i've said all of it except for this part okay you will also be flighty as well i don't know why but that energy does make you want to move around a lot and you could be all right all right per se because the energy has died down some because it does take time for the energy to kind of die down but if this is fresh on you like everything is going to be absolutely horrible okay this isn't nothing to be playing with i don't see why people out here doing it because it can't actually jump on them too the person that's up here doing people like this um you it's like you always want to leave you know because i don't know why i don't even know why you why you so flighty or the other other person may be flighty okay but yeah i decided to do this video because of somebody on my channel um shout out to you um i wasn't gonna do any more but it made me think though like dang i could actually do some more videos about this because i didn't mention dating life so yeah and relationship life when it comes down to this type of thing okay but yeah if y'all have any questions leave it in the comments if y'all have experienced any of these things uh let me know i would be glad to read your comments and if you need to reach me you can go into the about section on my channel and go to my email and you feel free to email me and i will definitely point you in the right direction to get this removed up off you okay all right y'all i will talk to y'all later okay bye bye